The price of the Fujifilm X-H2S has leaked according to Fuji rumors. Could this be a $3,000 APS-C camera? Details coming up, but first I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. This according to Patrick at Fuji Rumors, I'm happy to report that, according to trusted sources, the price in US dollars for the Fujifilm X-H2S will be $24.99. Fuji Rumors and pricing for the Fujifilm X-H2S have been changing faster than Apple stock price during pear season and less than $2,500 can mean anything less than $2,500, although usually that usually indicates a dollar or two less. But we now have confirmation from trusted sources from Patrick at Fuji Rumors that the Fujifilm X-H2S is gonna cost the same price as the Canon EOS R6, a full frame camera capable of 20 frames per second electronic, but the Fujifilm X-H2S will be able to do 40 frames per second. We don't know if that's gonna be raw. We don't know if that's gonna be JPEG, we don't know anything about whether it's going to be lossy or lossless, but 40 frames per second on a 26 megapixel backside illuminated stack sensor. It's going to be quite the amazing camera. So $24.99, that's certainly a price that's reasonable for a high-end flagship APS-C camera. Uh, many people thought that the Canon EOS R7 was going to be a true successor to the 7D Mark II, but it looks to be more of a replacement for the Canon 90D, although it's a very powerful replacement for the Canon 90D. But based on the rumored specifications that we've seen for the Fujifilm X-H2 at a price of $24.99, I don't know. Which camera do you think is going to be better? I know what a lot of you are thinking that the Fujifilm X-H2S, if priced at $24.99, 6K video up to 30 frames per second, perhaps 60, 4K 120, 40 frames per second stills. Again, we don't know if it's going to be lossy or lossless dual card slots, it's looking to be a pretty impressive camera. And one other thing we got clarification on, apparently this has been flip-flopping a lot too. The storage cards, one of them is supposed to be a CF Express Type B card slot and the other a UHS-2 card slot. But I wouldn't be surprised if that changes <laughs> over the weekend. We and again, the announcement is just coming up on Tuesday. But this new Fujifilm X-H2S, is it going to be the king of APS-C cameras? Is it going to beat out every other APS-C camera out there from Sony, from Canon, from Nikon? And this isn't the only APS-C camera we're getting from Fujifilm this year. We're supposed to be getting the Fujifilm X-H2S, which is supposed to be capable of UHD 8K video with a 40 megapixel sensor, a 40 megapixel APS-C censored camera. When Canon came out with a 32.5 megapixel sensor for the 90D and the M6 Mark II, I thought, wow, that's an awful lot of megapixels for an APS-C camera, camera, but 40 megapixels? That's pretty impressive. So what are the other specifications we're supposed to be getting on the Fujifilm X-H2S? Well, I don't know those right now, but with the weekend coming up, Saturday, Sunday, and then of course the announcement on May the 31st, this coming Tuesday, I would expect we'll start to get more leaks as the weekend progresses into Monday, as we did with the Canon EOS R7 and R10, 24 hours before those cameras were due to announce information, specifications, pricing, dating, all that stuff just started leaking like crazy. So if you want to get the latest information, the latest information on the Fujifilm X-H2S, what's going to be announced at the Fujifilm X Summit on May the 31st, then go ahead and subscribe, but please make sure you choose all notifications. It's only by choosing all notifications that YouTube will send you a notification letting you know of my latest videos. So that way you can stay up to date on the latest camera news and information. So you don't have to spend all your time going out and searching all the rumor sites, the Twitter feeds, Instagram and all that, you can get it right here. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.